this is a change of pace. So I decided that I was gonna make a booktube and I feel like the best way to just jump right into booktube without like having like a weird introductory phase is just to do a reading vlog. Kate Store decided that she was gonna release the last rainy day early on KU, which made me so upset because I literally took off today to start it and she released it yesterday. So people have already like read through it. I've heard very good things about it, but people said that it was like really heartbreaking. And if you don't know, the Ravenhood series is one of my favorite series I have ever read. It had me staring at my ceiling for two hours in tears after I finished it. And then I heard she was doing a novella a couple months ago and this novella turned into a whole novel. So I'm really nervous, I'm really scared, and I knew that I was gonna need to have like a palette cleanser after. So I grabbed this book from Target today. The thing about me, I know that if I go into Target, I'm going to that book section, but I've never actually grabbed a comic, but I love the La Avatar The Last Airbender. I'm also, be going, I'm also gonna be going live on my TikTok for like a couple hours or so just to like do like a live readathon of the last rainy day. I was supposed to be doing it with one of my book friends, but me and her got like our times confused, so I'm just gonna be doing it by myself. But that's fine. what I was expecting out of this book but the beginning so far is a little slow I know it's a lot of re-explaining what happened in the first three books from someone else's point of view but it's like a little slow I'm willing to be patient though because like a lot of people have been saying that it's a really really good read and like it also like is breaking their heart so I'm like waiting to get to the more emotional part of the book but right now I'm not really like getting that right now I'm not really getting like super emotional it's just a lot of explaining like the backstory and like the behind the scenes of like what was actually going on from like dom and sean's point of view like really dom's point of view but sean's like opinions and voices are also very much in it i'm about to read chapter 25 and we all know that miss kate stewart puts everything she has into her chapter 25s so i obviously couldn't not record myself while reading this because i just feel like it's a really important moment and it already started off with my rainy days are yours dominic if you want them she didn't run <sighs> this is about to be fire i i just know this is about to make me feel so many things i ju i just know kate's story is about to put me in my feelings i just know it oh my god <laughs> This is a no spoilers vlog. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, this has me like, this has me blushing. Okay, like I'm glad I'm in like, I'm in my room by myself because, oh my god. This is building me up for heartbreak. I know it's building me up for heartbreak. This is building. <laughs> I cannot believe what just happened. saying this but like as the book goes on I'm really really enjoying like understanding where he was coming from and why he was acting the way he was acting and in the first book I was kind of under the impression that like him and Cecilia didn't spend a lot of time together and that's why it was like I didn't feel bad but now I'm understanding how much time they actually got to spend together because that was like one of my biggest like gripe not gripes like I was just so sad about is that I was like they got no time together because of the rules that she set in place so it's really really interesting and i'm a little heartbroken but 
sad at the same time like i'm heartbroken and sad that they got more time because like they got more time which means that she had more memories which makes more sense of why she was holding on to this whole situation the way she was which i mean it'd be heartbreaking anyways but like now i fully understand like what's going on and like why this is so hard for her and <laughs> now it's going to be hard for me too but um, I'm really liking both sides. And a thing that I did expect is that I don't really, like I didn't care that much about Sean in the first, or any in any of the books, honestly. Um, the best thing he did was give her that car at the end of it. But um, like I didn't, I, I just never cared about Sean throughout the whole series. And like this is making it, like Sean is like kind of annoying and this haven't been like connected to Sean like there's nothing that was drawing me in I didn't really like him at the beginning and as the story went on I also didn't like him I just really like Dom and Cecilia's chemistry and connection so that's just kind of what I've held on to so it's really interesting to see how I still don't like him in this one so I know this is like becoming a whole series now and like I'm pretty sure Dom is gonna get his own book too and I'm just like uh not Dom I'm pretty sure Sean is gonna get his own book too so we'll see We'll see how that goes. So I obviously didn't get to finish one last rainy day yesterday, but I did say I was going to get to around 75% and then I was gonna pick it back up today. Scary, but I was surprised that I wasn't like bawling my eyes out. So I told my people on TikTok that I was gonna go live and read the rest of One Last Rainy Day on live. So I will be doing that, but I also am gonna try to get like a recording of me like reacting to it if I can. I was under the impression that Sean got more time with Cecilia and Dom didn't really get to experience like the full love and appreciation of Cecilia, but apparently, that's not true, which I really, really enjoy. I always had felt like Cecilia had more chemistry with Dom and Sean was just kind of like a fun time for her. Like she, I feel like she really, really loved Dominic more than she loves Sean, but I know that's not really the point. I don't think I'll cry. I think it'll like have me like tear jerky a little bit, but I don't think I'll actually cry. I cried a lot during Exodus and like I've made peace with everything that went on with Exodus. So I really don't think that I'll be like super emotional. But you never know at Kate's store. You just never know. I forgot to record. Of course I did. Kate's store. <laughs> Kate's store really just ruined my like my I'm I'm speechless. Kate's sword has a special way of evoking all types of emotions out of you while reading the Rainbow Hood series. I and mourning this fictional man. This fictional man. I am mourning. I don't know what to do with myself right now. This is not a real person. <laughs> this is not a real person. Dominic King is not a real fucking person. <sighs> Kate Stewart, because she follows me on TikTok, Kate Stewart was on my live when I was reading the last 10% of the book about to ball my eyes out on the internet. About to be caught in 4K. This is like... I'm super excited because this is going to be a new series, but I just know it's going to break my heart. But I know it's about to be so good. I know what's about to be so good. Oh my God, I cannot wait. I don't know if K-Store has a PR list, but put me on it. Because I, I'm in love. I am in love with this. Okay. I'm going to sit on this for a little bit and then I'm gonna come back and when I come back, I'm going to, I'm gonna sit on this for a little bit to like get my final thoughts on one last rainy day, but just know that my heart was broken and like I am literally mourning this man that doesn't exist. Mm -hmm.
weeks later. It's been an unreasonable amount of time since I finished the last rainy day, but hear me out. I was really busy and I was still trying to process my emotions from it, but I just can't stop thinking about Dominic now. And it's just, he, I knew I loved Dominic, but after just seeing like more of his thought process, I, he might be my favorite. And I love Tobias. Like after reading the finish line, that's the thing about Kate's story. You never really know where you stand because there's always more. And like, I got more of Tobias in the finish line and I was like, I'm a Tobias girl. But now I'm not so sure. Like, I'm not so sure. But I will say that was like an easy 4.5. Like again, the beginning was a little slow, but I understood why. But once I got to like, once I got to like the meat, I was like, oof. I love Dominic even more. I like, and I still stand on this, that Dominic and Cecilia had way more chemistry than Sean and Cecilia. And I'm gonna stand on that. And it's just like, I just think that like Dominic knew her better because he cared more and paid more attention. But like Dominic, Dominic and Tobias are just very like calculated individuals and they pay attention to everything. So I just feel like they really just understood her more than Sean did. And I've never really liked her with Sean, so that was fine with me. So I'm like, I don't know. And then getting to see everybody else's perspectives on the aftermath of what happened to Dominic, I was so like sad. And my camera's dying. So it was a 4.5 read for me. It was really good. If you haven't read the Raven Hood series, you need to do so immediately. But I'm gonna leave because my camera's literally dying. <laughs> but thank you guys for watching my channel. If you want more, I will be uploading more, obviously. And I'm like in a rush now, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. But definitely read the Ravenhood series.